everything she has done. Can we stand all over this place? And I'm gonna ask Brother Michael, who has been playing so skillfully, can you just play something soft for us as we prepare to go? I'm gonna ask our um, honoree, Kim, if you would come and um, Senator and Mrs. Johnson, if you're able to come and stand behind her, if you will. I'm going to also ask all of the ministers in the house if you're able and you desire to do so, maybe as we social distance, to um, just form a little semicircle around her as we pray a prayer of covering. I give God the glory. So honored to be here today. Um, please, Kim, forgive me for not wearing my T-shirt. I came straight down from Charlotte this morning, so I don't have it on. But please forgive that. Thank you, Sister Linda. These folks are making their way and we prepare to leave. Kim, I want you to know that um, there was a conversation taking place between two gentlemen, and there was an argument over transportation. And one gentleman said to the other, I don't like flying. I'd rather drive wherever I have to go. And the other guy said, but I like to fly. I mean, you get where you're trying to go faster, like flying. The gentleman said, well, I don't like to fly because I don't like the turbulence. Come on, somebody. He <laughs> said, I'd rather drive because I don't like the turbulence when you fly, Brother Moses. To which the other gentleman who likes to fly and who flies everywhere, pre-COVID, that is. He said to the gentleman that didn't like to fly, he said, yeah, you have turbulence when you fly. Mm -hmm. But turbulence is the price you pay. Flying high. Uh, and so, as you go throughout your campaign, and even as you go to the state house, you're going to have turbulence. But understand, it's par for the course because when you fly high, that's what happens. But the conversation didn't end right there, Senator Johnson. Not only did the gentleman say turbulence is the price you pay for flying high, it, it, the, the other gentleman said, but, but what do you do when it's turbulent? To which the man responded, I rely on the power to get me through. Can we got pilot? Is anybody here glad that we got a pilot? When I look at turbulence in our lives, we can rely on our pilot. His name is Jesus. I got to pray. King of kings, y'all know him, don't you? Jesus. So Kim, know that the Lord is with you. And when it's turbulent, understand you have a pilot who's flying your plane. Flying the plane. He'll carry you through the turbulence. Every hand in here, will you stretch it towards Kim? If you're not able to stand and you're seated, that's fine too. We want her to feel the weight of our prayer. We want her to feel the weight of this covering. We know God has a cover, but as it has been so skillfully articulated today, we got to vote. We got to do our part. We got support. And so, Kim, you can't see behind you, but hands all over this place are stretched towards you. And we want you to feel the prayers that we're praying. Hip heads about, eyes are closed. Well, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you thanking you for a moment that was predestined. Thank you for a moment that you knew about before Kim was even formed in Miss B's womb. Thank you that you called her like Esther for such a time as this. And thank you, God, that she's answered your call. And so we pray this prayer of covering upon her, that she continues to go forth to do that which you have called her to do. That as the Bible declares, no weapon formed shall prosper. We ask that your covering will be upon her, that every lying tongue, every tongue of judgment, every naysayer, that no matter what it is, oh God, that it shall not make any headway whatsoever. When that turbulence comes, thank you, God, for being her bridge over troubled water. Thank you, God, when that turbulence comes. That you, oh God, will guide her through. And we speak victory, not only for Kim, but for Senator Johnson and all of the other elected officials that we need in office. God, we speak victory. And so thank you for covering Kimberly O. Johnson. Thank you, oh God, for the humility 
humble spirit in which she operates. Thank you that it's not about Kim, but it's about you and it's about service to this community. Thank you that Clarendon County and District 64 will be better because Kimberly Johnson will be in office. And so we give you praise now and we give you thanks and may your anointing your anointing may your fresh anointing fall on Kim even right now a fresh touch of your power a fresh touch of your spirit a fresh touch of staying power may it be upon her now we cover her we thank you for giving us Kimberly Ochoa. Folks who love the Lord said, Amen. 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 Amen.